we're going to show you how to scan several pages and save it as a PDF on the HP Ink Tank 310 series. In order to do this, first ensure that you have the full feature software installed. And on the desktop, double click on the HP Ink Tank 310 series icon. This will bring up the HP Printer Assistant. Select Scan and scan a document or photo. At the Scan dialog box, select the shortcut Save as PDF. The item type is Document and the page size is A4. Let us place the document onto the flat bit of the printer. So this is the document that we want to scan. It is a three page document. We have the first page printed on both sides. We're going to place the document into the flat bit scanner. Once the document is placed on a scanner, select Scan. The first page has been scanned. To scan the second page, select this icon over here, which is to add more pages from the scanning device. Let us now go back to the printer and flip over to scan the second page. As this is a two-sided page document, you just need to flip it over to scan the second page. Once that is done, select Scan. The second page is scanned. Let's add more pages. Let's place the third page onto the scan glass. Select scan. The third page has been scanned. You can double click on the icon to enlarge it. So this is page 1, this is page 2 and this is page 3. Now that the scanning is done, let us save the document. We're going to show you how to save the document as a PDF file with a very small file size. To do that, go to More. Under More, select Destination. Click on the plus sign over here under the File Type. You'll notice that the current file size and quality is 75. Let's dial that down to 15. And there is a IHQC compression for a smaller file size. Let's check on that as well. Once that is done, select OK and click on Save. Let's name this file Inktang315 document and save. Once it's safe, you can open up the file to take a look. So this is page 1, this is page 2, and this is page 3. 
So this is how you scan multiple pages to the HP Inktank 315 printer and save it as a PDF with a small file size.